Now why would I act like my mind is vacant? When I know that mind's been designed as sacred We find in a culture with time and patience To be bold on a mic, like the timeless ancients Where words have light and the culture enhances Reflecting each individual's inner advances Where Krylon can turn a bland world into a canvas Of urban hieroglyphics so the future understands us Where b-boys and b-girls feet curl on the nolium As energy sparks like their hearts beat petroleum DJ's hand on the brake that keeps control of them Other hand in the crate as beats mold and blend Now that's that hip-hop some call an old trend In fact, some were never even told about then So when we see that hip-hop is changed in intensity Lost that love, flip-flopped and rearranged to industry We must preserve, archive, and teach hip-hop history We have the Path Hip Hop Summer Camp program going down at MiamiLightProject.com. Campers are going to have the opportunity to study hip hop history and philosophy, b-boying, MCing or rapping, the art of DJing and urban art. Rap is what commercially has, has been successful, but we're trying to open up people to the whole entire hip hop culture. Path, preserving, archiving, and teaching hip-hop history is an idea I developed over 10 years ago while teaching hip-hop culture at the JCC in Miami. See, being born and raised in hip-hop culture enabled me to land this gig at the JCC where I developed a program about teaching hip-hop culture. And once I got out of the program, I really realized, okay, now it's time to do something even bigger. Since I know all the people in the community, the pioneers, the leaders, the greatest dancers, MCs, b-boys, DJs, writers, said, okay, it's time now to do something different. And I said, hey, this is the idea I have. I want to put together a hip hop curriculum and offer it as a class and a program. Now, this type of program has never been done before, at least here in Miami. And I got turned down left and right until I went to the Miami Light Project. Well, we have a bit of a history in presenting hip-hop artists, hip-hop theater, uh, music, spoken word. We had a meeting with him to talk about outreach, the stuff that we do with the, the youth in the community, and he brought this project to us. We created a vision, and here it is. No, I'm, I'm, for real, this, this is gonna be, this is all about fun, and I don't want you guys to think of it in a sense, as a summer camp. I want you to think of it as an, a chance to really study a discipline that you're interested in. At first, the kids were kind of skeptical, like we're coming here to learn hip hop from him? Who knows what the four artistic elements of hip hop culture are? All right, let me, give me one. MCing. MCing, which is also known as what? Rapping, right? Give me another, go ahead. B-boying, which is also known as what? Breakdancing or B-girling, okay? All right, give me another one. Graffiti, which you know the original name for graffiti before it's called graffiti. It's called writing. Okay, what's the fourth one? DJing. The first day was a little bugged out because I'm I'm a hip hop head. I'm a hip hop fanatic, but now I also have to play this authoritative role. And to me, hip hop doesn't really have authority. But I had to take authority in the sense of saying, okay, you guys need to listen. You young ladies need to listen because this is how it's going down in this temple right here. So, MC. DJing, writing, which is uh, which you guys will know as urban art, and b-boying, b-girling, or breakdancing. Those are the four artistic elements. And then the fifth element, knowledge, wisdom, and overstanding. That's what we're gonna be studying. I've had relationships with all of these teachers in the hip hop community. I've seen them rock stages, I've seen them dance floors, I've seen them blow up walls, you know? When I say blow up walls, I mean, anyways. I picked them because of how involved they are in the community and how great they are at their talent. I wanted people that are so high up there in our community that 
people will strive to be there. They'll see it and be like, wow, but you know what? It's right there in front of me. I can get it. Just ask me if I'd be interested and in, um, to teach the breaking element. He gave me a brief idea of what he was trying to create. And, um, and of course, I was totally excited. Like, that's what I want, looking forward to do. Like, with my art form, I just want to share what I know now. It's like I'm to a point where I want to give back in a different way, which is to the youth. Youth is my main priority. I picked Beta because I thought it'd be really fly to have a female teacher. I was, and she's a champion. She's a, she's a champion. You know what I'm saying? That says a lot. She's been around the world winning, snatching people's titles. You know what I'm saying? I used to do a lot of uh, graffiti, you know, uh, in and out of like the legal side of it, and I learned a lot from that. And um, what I've become is a professional artist who makes a living drawing, doing nothing but drawing. What I saw was lacking in school, and I was in art school my whole life, is, um, you know, the, the A student in a lot of cases was the one that was doing exactly what the teacher wanted, and you know, I'm not knocking that, that's fine. But I didn't find that I was rewarded for being myself as much as when I was out on the street. If you did something that everyone else was doing, you were a toy. You were just like, you didn't have your own style, then you were nothing. You just faded away. So I noticed out there, and that's what I hugged on to, is that I was becoming more rewarded for being who I was. Crave, I've done a lot of work with in the past in performance. I know him as an individual. I know he's extremely positive. He comes from the streets as a painter. He was an illegal painter. He paid his dues, and I've seen his whole career from the time I knew him go from illegal to legal painting. And I, and I witnessed that and been a part of that. So he was definitely my first choice. Graffiti art is modern art. It's the modern <laughs> form of art. It's not appreciated as that. If you go to a modern art gallery, it's starting to get in there, but it's, it's really not you know, spoken of as modern art. I'm here to tell you it's modern art. A lot of folks don't even know, you know, the current state of hip hop. They don't realize because they don't necessarily know where it came from and where it got to at one point and where it is now. So I'm gonna help you in my class understand where it came from, where it went to and where it is now. Out of all of the teachers, I'm really happy to have had Soulflower because of the shock value. Because I could imagine coming from Liberty City or wherever I'm from, I wanna learn hip hop, I wanna learn a rhyme, I wanna be an MC or a rapper, bling bling. And walking into class and seeing Soul Flower, like, you ain't teaching me rap? No, wait, am I in the wrong, am I in a, a yoga instruction, spiritual healing class, or what? What is this about? The problem with hip hop right now, as an MC, um, is in the whole realm of MCing, is that it is rap right now. It is meaningless and leadershipless. You know, I say that it's followers following followers. Teaching DJing, you know, is like, it's what I do, you know? I don't want to turn down anybody, you know? It's like, if you want to learn DJing and you really love music, I'll help you, period. You know, it's like, that's what, that's what we do here. I had a couple of DJ choices, because me and Immortal, we, weren't, we know of each other, we weren't extremely tight, but his, his Scratch program was the only one that could actually facilitate what we wanted to do, because we don't have tons of turntables. So, and then when I really thought about it, I was like, man, let's just get Scratch on board because they have the facility, they have the office, they have everything they need, and let's just take the kids to Scratch and bring them back. Well, um, Scratch was started by the late Jam Master J uh, from the group Run DMC about five years ago uh, in New York City. Now we got schools in California, Miami. We're like the only people with a copywritten curriculum on how to, you know, how to DJ, and all of our students get unlimited access to the, to the space. Come to Scratch and, you know, we'll teach you the real way of DJing. 